Hi friends, welcome to Hoffa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 25 in Azure Data Factory real-time scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, whenever any API downloads a file, how to load that file into some sync system using Azure Data Factory. So if I actually point you to the requirement, I am going to hit a API which is going to download a file, in my case some Excel file and this file I want to load it into maybe Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. I will use into Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2. So this is what my requirement. So how to achieve this? Because in most of the projects uh, you might be seeing a requirement like they will give you a API URL like this. So this URL whenever you hit, it will actually download some file. Okay. So what they want according to requirement, this downloaded file automatically go and land into some sync system. Okay. So maybe it may be blob storage or it may be SQL table, or it may be uh, data like storage gen 2, so whatever may be it is, right? They want to load this downloaded file directly into your sync location. So this is what they want to do as part of their ETL. So uh, if that kind of requirement comes, how to achieve, that we are going to see practically in this video. So for this video, I am going to use this URL. This is a sample URL which is available on the online. This act, this URL request actually downloads a Excel file. Okay, I will practically show you as well. So let me go to my desktop. Let me go to Chrome browser. I will keep this URL in the video description as well. See, this is the URL I am just keeping inside my address bar. The moment I hit enter button, this will actually download a file. You see, so that means what happened? A HTTP request which is type of get issued to this particular URL, and the moment the request issued to this URL it downloaded a file. So let me open this excel file and see the content of this file. So I am trying to open this file. So if you see this file has uh, totally 5000 and 5001 records. So maybe first row may be a header. Let's quickly see. Yeah, first row is header. So that means totally 5000 records uh, this excel file has. So now our requirement is using ADF, we should hit this API and whatever the file it will download automatically that file should load into ADLS Gen 2. So if if I show, if I go to this ADLS Gen 2, so Mahir ADLS Gen 2, this is a storage account what I have in my subscription, and it has a container called Synapse Demo. So inside this Synapse Demo container, inside the output folder, maybe I want to load that XLS file, whatever my API is giving. So this is what the requirement. So let's go to ADF and let's practically implement this. So let me create a new pipeline. So whenever you want to perform a, a kind of a data movement. For example, in this case, data is moving from API to ADLS Gen 2, right? So whatever may be the source and sync, whenever you want to perform any kind of data movement between source and sync in ADF, you have to use a copy activity. I hope everyone knows that, right? Let me minimize all this. So in the copy activity, you will be having a source configurations and also you will be having a sync configurations. So you need to provide a source data set and sync data set. So in our case, source is nothing but our API, right? So what we should do, we should have a data set here which is going to hit my API. So for that, you, you, I am going to click this new button to create a new data set. So here, this is the important step. Here, you need to use a connector of HTTP. Okay. So why I have to use a connector of HTTP? Why not REST? So there are two types of connectors actually. One is REST, REST connector and another, another one is HTTP connector. So both the connectors actually do a API call. But if your API call is going to download a file, then it is advised as per the documentation to go with a HTTP connector. So I am going to use a HTTP connector because I have to make a API call using this connector. So let's, let's click continue button here. Uh, once uh, the moment you selected a connector, it will ask you to select the format. So usually because we are not worrying about format, so we are trying to move the file as it is, right? So you can go with the binary format itself. So let's click continue and here maybe this is like a, uh, API file. So from API, I will be downloading one file, right? So maybe I am giving the name as API file for this data set. Now I have to create a linked service. Using this linked service, I am going to make a API call actually. So let me click this new button. So see here, it is going to create a linked service of HTTP type. So here you need to provide a URL of your uh, API, which is going to download a file. So I just provided that URL. Now this URL is uh, sample URL. It, 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 it is not having any authentication logic actually. So you can be an anonymous user also to make a HTTP request for this URL. So I selected anonymous as a authentication type. 
So now let me click this test connection to make sure my ADF linked service is able to connect to this API properly or not. See, connection is successful. That means my ADF is we can make a call to this API successfully. Let me click create. So this is going to create a linked service inside which I provided a API URL and that URL hit actually gives you a file. So now let's click OK. So this is the data set which we created. If I quickly open this data set once again, see, the, see I selected binary format only because for me, I have to move the downloaded file as it is into ADLS Gen 2. So I no need to worry about any formatting. So I can go with the binary and uh, in the linked service, I given a base URL, right? I, I, I will click edit and I will show you the same base URL actually appearing here as well. Okay. So that's it. Now let's go back to our pipeline. So now we are good with the source data set configuration and request type is get only, right? Using browser, we issued a get request and that get request downloaded a file, right? So get request, that is fine. So let's go to sync. So here I need to select my ADLS Gen 2 location where I want the file to be loaded. So let me click new. So my my sync location is ADLS Gen 2 in my case. So I selected ADLS Gen 2 connector, click continue. So again, I am going to select a binary format only because I no need to worry about any mappings or something. It is purely raw file movement. Okay. So here maybe I am going to name it like ADLS Gen 2 HTTP file. Okay, this is what the data set name I am going to give. And here I have already created a linked service for my ADLS Gen 2. I just selected it. Let me click this edit button to show you that as well. You can see this particular linked service is actually pointing to my ADLS Gen 2 account only. Okay, then let me browse for the location. So I want the file to be loaded under Synapse demo container, uh, maybe under output folder. Okay. Uh, let's click OK and maybe what uh, once the file loaded into this location, I want the file name to be like abcd.xlxs. So explicitly I given a name. So whatever the name you give with that name, it will it will load the file there. So let me click OK button here. So that's it. We are good with the sync configuration only. See sync configuration also. So let me hit this debug execution to actually run this copy activity and see whether the API hit actually happens and the xls file actually move to there or not. And also we are going to open that Excel file and we are going to see whether all the 5000 records loaded into the sync location or not. You can see my copy activity executed successfully. Let me go to my ADLS Gen 2 account Synapse Demo output folder. Let me refresh this location once and I should see a abcd.xls file. Yeah, you see here, I am able to see my Excel file here. That means file loaded properly into the location, but it should have the content as well. So let me download this file first. So you can see file is getting downloaded. Once the file gets downloaded, I am going to open that file and I am going to show you the results as well. So it looks file downloaded actually. So let me go to the uh, uh, location where my file is downloaded. I think it will be downloaded into my downloads folder. You can see ABCD XLS file downloaded. You can see the time also. So let me double click and open this file and let's make sure we have all the 5000 rows or not. You see all the files that means data is also loaded properly. All the 5000 rows came into my uh, ABCD.XLS file as well. So this is how whenever any requirement come to make a API call and then uh, download the file and load the file into the sync location, such requirements come, then this is how you have to implement. So make sure you are going to create a data set in the source, which is going to be HTTP request type. So that is the suggested way from the ADF documentation. So HTTP connector is the one which you have to use if your API is going to download a file. Okay. So I hope uh, you understood this video. I hope this video is helpful to you guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.